the General Services Department has established an online computerized maintenance management system, with Facility Dude, for the processing of facility work orders. This brief tutorial will explain how you can now submit your facility work orders online. You can access all information at www.collierville.com. Point to Departments. Then select Facility Maintenance. Then, in the left-hand menu, click on Work Orders. From the Work Order page, you can click on the Dude, to access the Facility Dude login page. Or from a browser you can go to, login.facilitydude.com. Also from the work order page, you can access the following information. The how to tutorial. Which is the tutorial you are watching now. Entering the work order. This is a PDF download on how to enter a work order. Work order user request. Click here to request a user login and password. Once at the facility dude login page. Enter your username, which is your email address. Enter your password. Your temporary password is 123456. Click on Sign In. Once logged in, you will notice that you will have a set of tabs across the top of the page. The Work Order tab will be where you will fill out and submit new work order requests. The Inventory Request tab will only be available if you order custodial inventory supplies. This feature is not available at this time. You will be notified when inventory request is available. The My Requests tab is where you can view all of the work orders that you have submitted, as well as check on the status of a request. The My Settings tab is where you can update your information, change your email notification settings, and change your password. To enter a work order, click on the Work Order tab. Please note that any item marked with a red check mark is a mandatory item, and must be filled out before you can submit the request. Step 1 should already be filled in with your contact information. You can update this information under the My Settings tab. Step 2. Location Information. Use the drop-down box under Location to select the appropriate building for the work order request. You can then click on the binoculars next to building unit, to select a specific area within the building. Not all locations will have building units available. Building units is not a mandatory field and can be left blank. Area slash room number, is a free text field that you can type in a more specific location if you so choose. Step 3. Priority. This is the priority of the request. You will notice that the name of the levels have changed. What once was level 1 emergency, is now level high. Use this priority when Emergency service requiring an immediate initial response to prevent escalation of the problem or damages, or to abate a condition, which could affect the safety or health of persons or property, warrants an immediate response and mitigation, but not necessarily a permanent repair. Examples include, but are not limited to Down electric lines Natural gas leaks or smells. Rainwater penetrating building exterior. Broken pipes. Water lines. Overflowing toilet. Inoperable exterior locks. Certain pest or animal control issues. Fire alarm sounding. The response time on high priority work orders will be within 60 minutes or less. What once was level 2, urgent, is now level medium. Use this priority when Urgent situations pose a threat of personal injury, equipment damage, or a serious disruption of town operations. Whenever possible, urgent work orders should be completed within 24 to 48 hours to mitigate the situation before injury occurs, equipment or property is damaged, or the condition worsens. Examples include, but are not limited to Broken glass Tripped electrical breakers no air conditioning or heat in rooms with sensitive equipment. Piping or roof leaks that affect equipment or offices. Toilets or urinals running constantly. Clogged sink, toilet, or shower. ADA compliance issues. Graffiti. Requests are dispatched as soon as possible or practical, 
and a technician should respond within 8 to 24 hours. What once was level 3, routine, is now level low. Use this priority when routine maintenance or service item that does not pose an immediate risk to facilities, systems, equipment, or components. Examples include, but are not limited to, repair damaged walls, furniture or equipment moving services, cracked glass replacement, changing light bulbs or fluorescent tubes, building preventative maintenance, such as, carpet cleaning, or exterior window cleaning, repair of broken furniture, air condition malfunctions, spot removal from floor coverings. Requests are dispatched based on workload and priorities. Due to increased workloads, technicians may respond within 24 to 30 days. What once was level 4, deferred work, is now level scheduled. This priority will be used when, there are times that maintenance must be deferred, due to a lack of funding, impending asset retirement, long-term planning, or has been subject to other administrative issues or constraints. The requesting department or individual will be notified of the reasons for the delay. The understanding of those affected in those cases is greatly appreciated. Examples include, but are not limited to, work that requires outside vendors, contractors, or procurement of materials. Work that requires a coordinated and planned schedule between a requester and a technician. Work that can be programmed for the next season or fiscal year. Jobs requiring several technicians and long range planning. Step 4 is where you will select a category for your problem. Click the drop box labeled Select Graft and choose the category that best describes the overall problem. Some examples could include doors and hardware, electrical, furniture repair, heating, ventilation, air conditioning. If you cannot find a match for your problem, select general maintenance. Please note the emergency contact numbers. During normal business hours, you can call the general services main line number at 457-2250. After hours. You can contact the facility maintenance on call number at 457-8233. Step 5. Type in the description of your problem or request. Please be as detailed as possible. Step 6. Will allow you to attach two files to the request. Each file must be 3 megabytes or less. Examples of what kind of files you might attach to the request would be. Pictures or documents. Step 7. Work Order Request Submission. Click on the Submit button to submit your work order request. Click on the My Request tab to check on the status of your work order request. This concludes the work order request tutorial. All of this information and more can be found on the Facility Maintenance Work Order web page. Should you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact the General Services Department at 457-2250